Well, Dustin, Joshua, congratulations, gentlemen. The two of you have made it through the first two rounds of this competition, and boy, was it a nail biter. In this third and final round, we're gonna send you back to your home forges for four days to build an iconic weapon from history. We want you to build this. The Toreg Tacoba. The Tacoba is a type of broadsword that has been used by the nomadic Toreg people of North Africa since the 14th century. This double-edged lightweight blade was carried for self-defense on long journeys, designed to deliver lethal slashes and stabs against a rival warrior. Due to the Toreg's aversion to iron, there is no exposed steel or iron on the hilt of this sword, so it cannot touch the user's hand. Measuring more than a meter long, this deadly weapon was seen as a symbol of wealth. Some members of the Tacoba clan still carry this weapon today. Good luck, gentlemen. We'll see you in four days. My name is Justin Mavity. I'm 36 years old. I'm from Glasgow, Montana. Growing up, I've always loved knives, swords, and I watched Forge and Fire. You see it, and you're like, I think I could maybe do that. So I'm half an inch over. I'm happy with that. It'll be good. I got my blade heat treated. Here we go. Move on to the pommel now. I'm going to try to key out the bottom of this so that fits straight, and then I'll just have like a pommel nut that goes on top and holds everything together. Whether or not it works, we'll see. So I got my handle all together. I have the handle all epoxied. Everything's good, the nut's tight. Guards on these Tacobas, they have stars and all other types of geometric shapes. And I had hat pins that I put in some of my knives. Definitely not a cowboy, but my brother passed away 10 years ago, and he was, so I think I'll throw this in there for him. Start to dremel them out to kind of recess them into the handle. Not bad. Fairly happy with it. I am worried about the tang. I do wish I would have made the tang a little bit thicker, but I mean, it's out of my hands now. My name is Joshua Kim. I'm 22 years old. I live in the Golden State, California, San Pedro. I started off playsmithing in middle school. It was something in its rawest form, so simple, yet so abstract. And all you have to limit yourself as a bladesmith is your own imagination. And that's what I love about it. Now we're getting somewhere. It's getting to the length. Pretty darn big. So right now, my main concern is to make that skinny. Never done a fully before. It was a little like a, your first love, almost. Time for the fun part. It's time to quench my blade. I'm scared by the hardening process. If that fails, I just have a giant oversized butter knife. Quench it, but I see it bending it. Not happy with that. I go for a second time. I know a lot of people that go into the quench multiple times. They have a lot of stress fractures and everything else. If I mess up again, I don't know what I'm going to do. Golly, it's a little warped on the side. I'm not liking the bend in my blade, so I'm going to be hardening it again. Oh, my gosh. Yo, that is a good looking blade, my man. Shoot. I got six hours left. All I got to do is make a handle. So what I'm going to use, some good brass as the top and bottom, then put some walnut, space of copper, then a space of purple heartwood, then another piece of brass. That is a guard. For the handle construction, I'll just use leather. It's coming along quite nicely. And a day four, I finished this plate. Well, golly gee willikers. Someone give me 10 grand. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, please, please. Bladesmiths, welcome to the keel test. Your Turek Tacobas look beautiful, but the kind of beauty I'm looking for is the lethal kind. I'm gonna we'll take your weapon, deliver some lethal blows on this ballistic stubby. Dustin, you're up first, you ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. All right, Dustin, let's talk about your weapon here. First up, your handle construction. I like the ovoid feel of this. The flare you have there in your pommel actually gives great retention for this. Your tip is sharp enough to penetrate. Your edges are sharp when you're cutting out, and you can wield this 
to do that kind of damage on this bullock's dummy. Overall, sir, a weapon like this, it will kill. Awesome. All right, Joshua, your turn. You ready? Keep everyone alive. All right, let's do this. Joshua, let's talk about your weapon here. Your pommel right here could have used some weight to it, but because it's forward weighted and the fact that you have a very sharp edge, every slice, as you can see, is very deep into the ballistic stomach. And more importantly, sir, your weapon, you will kill. All right, gentlemen, it's time for the strength test. Our desert well chop. Now. To test the strength and overall construction of your blades, I will be chopping into our well house, as well as the well. And Dustin, you're on deck. You ready? I guess so. <laughs> OK. so well for a moment there. What actually happened was with insetting your blade down into this piece of wood, any of that leverage was just too much for the wood itself, and it popped it loose. Your tang is a little bit small, but what I do like to see is that your blade actually held up beautifully. I mean, your grain structure looks fine. This is an absolutely brutal test. So very well done. Thank you. Now, Dustin, you survived every one of the strikes except for the last one. Your guard gave way, and your blade followed. So we consider this a catastrophic failure. You cannot continue testing your blade, but you're not out of the fight yet. How are you feeling, Joshua? Pressure's on. All right, so you need to survive five strikes in order to be named Forge and Fire Champion. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. Joshua, your blade is strong. It made it past all the strikes. Congratulations. Now, Dustin, unfortunately for you, that means your time here in this competition has ended because you did have a catastrophic failure. It was an honor watching you in our forge, but unfortunately, man, at this time, I'm going to have to ask you to please step off our forge floor. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I'm definitely crushed. I actually thought that recessing the sword into the tang a little bit would make it stronger, and that's kind of what bit me in the end. So definitely, definitely won't be doing that again. I'm definitely proud of this blade. I came here to challenge myself as much as I could, and I definitely achieved that. Well, Joshua, congratulations, man. That means you are the newest Forge of Fire champion. You just got yourself a check for $10,000. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah! Oh, my gosh. I made a sword. It didn't break. Oh, my gosh. It was a hard competition, so this is unreal. <laughs> oh.